Hi, John here. Uh, today is Saturday the 5th of August 2017. I'm just um, videoing this video just in case it gets taken off, but it interests us here in New Zealand, uh, the federal state laws in America that's um, abusing the King's uh, Admiralty Court Martial laws. And we hold the flag here in New Zealand of that law right there that flag there of King William the fourth eighteen thirty four declaration of war flag so really we're going to create a war of financial martial law on America and their banks the system of Rothschild banks and the Queen of England and also the Vatican Church who owns uh, the United Nations and their armies. So this flag I just showed you is uh, the only legal authority of a king in a King's Bench Native Grand Jury Court here in New Zealand, uh, Magistrate Court for that matter, and um, we're making the first complaint against John Key and his banks, uh, Maryland's bank in America that is um, um, a prolific abuser of these laws um, and it's got to beyond um, uh, anyone uh, able to stop it except this flag that created those laws in the first place for the common people or the common law king's people that we're going to seize that law off them and anybody abusing that law will use on them because we have the jurisdiction and the uh, authority uh, from the original contract, the private contract that these US federal state uh, agents of the Crown Corporations, private companies, are using this private corporation contract flag, um, default flag, uh, that no one can um, actually contest apart from us being a legal first, second party in a two-party contract with the King. The United States of America and all these names that are put down uh, as being um, on my Facebook, um, uh, as being perpetrators of our contract, <coughs> a third party <coughs> that includes the three corporations the biggest three corporations, the uh, Washington D.C., Washington D.C., uh, the Vatican City, and the City of London. Those three companies are the biggest abusers of our flag of King William the uh, Third, St. Patrick's Order, eight-point star flag on our flag in the four corners of the, the earth, and King William the Fourth, uh, who gave us this um, admiralty court martial law and financial martial banking law flag and military of Britain to protect our business between us and those two kings and with King William IV, the St. Mary's Church, <coughs> 1831, Tiki Tiki, uh, Whakawhitira Native Magistrate Court that's on our land at that year date, 1831, bonds as instruments of legal authority to make money out of uh, the uh, birth certificates, deaths and marriage certificates, and any other certificate that comes under the realms of those two kings. With those kings are uh, King George uh, III, the father of uh, King William IV, King George IV, and King Ernest Augustus I. So those are the real bloodlines uh, that are, are behind our authority of jurisdiction. Those are the creators that King William III created the Bank of England and the pound note instrument that we use as debtor instrument against these corporations and other incorporations as well um, from uh, abusing and breaking our King's laws. So I just, I'll show you the uh, companies afterwards, but I'll run this video now so that we can hear what she's saying is exactly <coughs> what we're going to do as the authority of Admiralty Law 
to force this law on anyone breaking it. That's our paramount chiefs here in New Zealand, the um, party, the second party to the Navy, British Navy and King William IV Navy in um, Plymouth, uh, England, um, William Yard. At that period of time he was uh, reforming the laws and acts for these uh, laws we're using now. So here goes. The top five ways government keeps us enslaved. Number five, border control. The U.S. government implements a border via federal law that reaches up to 100 miles inland from the coastline. The 100 mile inland reach of this law actively affects over 66% of the U.S. population. Border patrol agents can stop virtually anyone in this zone without reasonable suspicion. Border agents have the authority to search electronic devices and can seize electronics for a deep dive search with only a reasonable suspicion standard, in exception to the Fourth Amendment's protections that normally require a warrant from a judge with probable cause stated. As border enforcement extends far past actual national boundaries, the U.S. government has a wide-sweeping ability to clamp down on citizens with militaristic action akin to the papers please police state tactics of Nazi Germany. Number four, the Perens Patriae Doctrine. The Perens Patriae Doctrine is the doctrine which gives the U.S. government the ultimate authority over children. It stems partially from the marriage contract, where the government is seen as a third party in addition to the mother and the father. In reference to this arrangement, the Supreme Court has said, and I quote, The state has a wide range of power for limiting parental freedom and authority in things affecting the child's welfare, and this includes, to some extent, matters of conscience and religious conviction. Because of this doctrine, the government claims authority to force children into its educational systems, and, if the child refuses, to place the child into juvenile court custody with the threat of civil or criminal contempt. The government also claims, in acting as a parent, the ability to lower constitutional protections for children in school, and thus only gives a reasonable suspicion level of protection to conduct searches by school personnel. This system has led to generations of young adults who do not have any sense of individual autonomy or the right to be free of coercive authoritarian restraints. Number three, the National Security Patent Control. The United States government can confiscate invention plans and gag the inventor. Under federal law, the U.S. government can keep a patent secret and withhold its publication out of national security concerns. While at first this may seem like a necessity to protect the public, the truth is that the government can take patents with unbridled discretion under national security directives. The government does not need to posit a specific interest in the invention it deems important to national security. Once an invention is labeled as a national security concern, the courts will generally dismiss any claim claims against the government until it is declassified. An inventor has no recourse for payment of the inventions used by the government, or for the inventor's inability to make use of the invention. Ultimately, this policy has led to the U.S. government stealing inventions for its own use if it feels the technology may advance individual autonomy too fast for the government to control. Even worse, the public rarely hears about these takings because of the gag orders placed on inventors. Number two. Eminent domain. The Constitution of the United States expressly provides that private property cannot be taken for public use without just compensation. The implicit notion in this clause is that government has the ability to take private property. Unfortunately, this clause undermines the sovereign right to land with a lodial title, that is, the right to own land free of any superior claims. The U.S. government has pushed with great force to expand the takings power, which has led to Supreme Court decisions upholding the right of government to take private land to sell or give to another private person or company. The U.S. Constitution has effectively given the U.S. government free reign to steal property from unwilling sellers via eminent domain. Number one, property taxes. The concept of private property taxes is most dangerous to individual autonomy because it means that people are perpetually in debt even after their mortgage is paid off. Property taxes are the chief example of modern feudalism because an individual can never live on their land debt-free. 
And if that debt is not paid, government officials come to foreclose and steal the property. <clears throat> property taxes are a reminder that individual sovereignty doesn't exist when government claims to own all existing land. Thank you so much for supporting my work. If you'd like to help choose the next video I produce, join my Patreon page at the Philosopher's Boba Tea level. Subscribe on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter to stay up to date with my latest content. See you soon! Yes, freeze! The top five ways government keeps... So there we go. I'm just saying, I'll just... She says, I'm just put this on Facebook just a minute ago. On her page as well she says it is she says it as it is this is what Moai Crown shall force the King William IV Federal State 1834 Paramount Chief's flag of war Admiralty Court Martial Law jurisdiction on these Queen Elizabeth II Crown and Crown corporate fake law abusers private business corporations I should put fraud here and not fake fraud because it is fraud. Fraud. Oh, can't do that. Gotta edit. Fraud. I'll just do this while I'm here before I go any further. <coughs> fraud. Change fake. Ah. Oh. Fake to fraud. Fraud. Fraud law abusers, private business corporations, these are the private corporations. United States of America, you see I've noticed I've got brackets around it, that makes it a corporate company. U.S. Federal State Government, Washington D.C., City of London, Vatican City, Buckingham Palace, Intuition New Zealand, Queen Elizabeth II, Church and State. UN, EU, ISIS, USA, NATO, and Israel. Those are the Rothschild-driven bank <coughs> perpetrators. I'll put perpetrators over here. Perpetrators. Perpetrators of... Uh, native Paramount Chiefs Chiefs Commercial Landowners Commercial Landowners Owners King William Fourth Private contract. Contract. Laws. 
the eight point star here on the head of the sheriff that will be going after these people abusing our laws. I'm taking into account King George the Fourth, 1820, uh, period of his reign connecting to uh, King William the Fourth. And we go back to 1650 to 1701, King um, George, King George the Third. Uh, period of time, uh, the father of King William the Fourth, King George the Fourth, and King Ernest Augustus the First. Those are three brothers, and their father is the legacy that we use in this flag we hold as authority over America and everyone abusing their laws. They have coded laws and the Pope has got rid of all of that because he put the Catholic uh, motu propria uh, to demolish all those laws and they cannot use those laws against us and our raw state of law of a king direct. So the Pope borrowed the laws of King William the Fourth, and the Queen of England, Queen Elizabeth II, borrowed the laws of King William the Fourth and King William the Third, and the Pope and the Rothschild banks borrowed uh, the same laws of those kings for their own private uh, investment interests, banking interests, and so we're doing the same thing in reverse to seize all that off them, back into the King's Bench, Grand Jury, Trial, Magistrate Court, and the highest court in the land, the Supreme Court. Uh, through the High Court, we're going straight to the top, online, court cases against anybody breaking our laws. All right? From 1650 uh, through, uh, through to 1834 in that period. Those are the laws we're using, the Admiralty, Court Martial laws in that period of time. The banking laws, Bank of England, <coughs> was created by uh, King William III. We have him in there as well. And he created the pound note, the instrument that we use to debtor all these corporations on the opposite end in the Queen's Bench Court from the King's Bench Court, who we are, as the authority, the creator of all those laws uh, that we use on them. And I'm saying the debtor instrument pound note uh, is a direct um, uh, authority f under the um, declaration of war flag and the financial uh, martial law. The financial martial law is seized, all the property and all the values worth back into our Maui Crown King William the Fourth Trust account. From their trust accounts, all their trusts will get the bill from us. And that's going to start in Auckland and it will go right through the world with this flag we hold as the origination of all Admiralty law. And it's a flag given by the King on dry land whereas the uh, Union Jack flag, all the rest of the flags from Britain are on the sea of Admiralty in the middle of the ocean and not on dry land that we have. So you can be removed or evicted from the land and the land seized into our Maui <coughs> Federal State Maui Crown Federal State Commonwealth Government of the World dual government with Britain, UK and there is concern with uh, Theresa May, the Prime Minister of uh, Britain, UK, that she is mixed up in fraud as well. That is not our, uh, our concern. Our main concern is putting Westminster right and to boot out and sack all the perpetrators of this corporate crown business that has taken the King's common law people money and their assets, their countries, and turned it to themselves and nobody else. Their own financial investment interests are now at stake. So we have 30% elite people in the world as a formula 
to bill everyone in the elite side of the Queen Elizabeth, Rothschild Banks, Church and State, um, all those companies here I've named here, and more, but in particular the three main uh, corporations that run this well, City of London, um, Vatican City and Washington DC. Those are the three main culprits and uh, thugs, pirates, that's what we have. We have a pirate's flag to capture them all and lock them and seize all their land and properties back into the king's estate for the people and on behalf of the people. 70%, we have assessed the 70% of that claim we put together under King William IV and my Crown Trust will go out into 70% of the world's population of 7.5 billion and the other 30% will get the bill of 970 million trillion trillion single pound note on their heads. That's it. That's how it's going to work. And the creditor is the King, Sheriff, Bank, the Moai Powerhouse Bank, and the debtor is the Crown Corporations, private companies of the Rothschild Banks, uh, the, the, those three corporations, mainly and Queen who gave our flag consent from our Governor Generals in New Zealand and Prime Minister to the Queen who then on on sold it to the Vatican and the United States of America for her own federal state government's financial investment interest which is a threat to us the Paramount Chiefs here and our two party contract with the Kings those Kings I just said and uh, she is a threat because she abandoned the Admiralty ship and went to the EU Parliament <coughs> and abandoned the Westminster Parliament even though she's still there in person. Some of the money that she has stolen from HM Treasury or maybe all of it and the gold has been shifted into the Netherlands, in Brussels and Netherlands and that's King William III. That's still our partnership under this flag with the eight point star municipalities of St. Patrick's Order in Belfast, Northern Ireland. That's why Theresa May, Prime Minister, has taken on board um, uh, Arlene Foster, the DUP uh, um, party as a coalition party with her Tory government. And you, I'm telling you the real story with that is that the Eight Point Star is in Belfast where my ancestors, Rogans, judges and Cosgrove lawyers come from. And that's why I'm talking like this to why the logic of what Theresa May, the Lord of the Treasury and Philip Hammond are at loggerheads with each other. Philip Hammond being the Lord or of the um, um, exchequer, the man with the checkbook and the money, those two are running havoc for the EU Parliament and would be got rid of by the people and this flag we have here to oust them all out of Parliament and the Lords and put in fresh blood. Um, well, that's where we're at right now. And I'm just saying to our chiefs here on this video, to them, that <clears throat> this is a Facebook video and most people don't have Facebook. So I'm putting it on YouTube uh, for the benefit of the 70% of the population of the world and the 70% of the population of New Zealand and it's 4.5 million people. So that's split out amongst the formula of what value the birth certificate is and the birth, death and marriage certificates are and the land value is and square area, kilometres area and down to square metre area per person on a claim against the 30% of the thugs in New Zealand who are rampant on defrauding the public of New Zealand and uh, the Paramount Chiefs, the commercial land owners with this flag. We are the commercial land owners 
with this eight point star sheriff's flag to seize on the trusts with our trusts and our corporations under the king on his horse and his admiralty ship on dry land here with this flag to seize all the assets of the perpetrators and including 77 Cook Street or the original 1 bar 61 Cook Street in Auckland property will be seized first up as soon as we have our hearing in Auckland with the Paramount Chiefs from Ngāpuhi direct to uh, the Westminster Magistrate Court our partnership ship of Admiralty in that court directly into the Rolls building in the Admiralty courts uh, our electronic court hearing is a two hour case it'll be all over for anyone breaking our laws from 1650 King William the third King King William King William the third to um, 1834 King William the fourth okay that period of time uh, that we are locking in to this uh, contract that we have a private contract over the other private contracts in America. America was set up by the Queen and her Rothschild uh, British families, royal families, to screw the whole rest of the world from America, not from England. That's why they left it without a constitution or an uncoded constitution. That means it's got no legs, no legal legs. They put it in America as a de facto government and that's fraud. We're treating that as fraud, defrauding, conspiracy to defraud, did defraud the rest of the world under this flag and of a king. They don't have any, there's no king's flag anywhere in the world of Admiralty Court Martial Law and Commercial Trading Bank Business Creditors. This is the flag here. This flag here is the only flag in the world of a king with the eight point star in the four corners of the earth, north, east, south, west, with the blue sea of Admiralty and the blue sky for the sky, and the little red cross in the corner with the little black line around it is those four kings King William the Fourth, King Ernest Augustus the First, King George the Fourth, and King George the Third. Okay, so that's those four kings in the corner, and the rest, the big cross is the eight Saint King George, King George the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, King William uh, the fourth, and King William the third. Okay, so that's the eight kings on the big cross of the George family. Okay, so that's all I want to say for this video for my uh, Paramount Chiefs up north uh, having their meeting. Uh, over four day period in Te Hapu um, and I'm just saying that uh, Manahi has um, uh, called me to he, Manahi Parapara Mohini has called me to say that they will be having a service uh, on the Saturday at uh, the Ratana Church straight after the um, uh, Spirits Bay um, uh, hikoi or visit for their spiritual uh, prayers and um, they'll have another spiritual prayer in the Ratana Church in Te Hapua itself. So that will go from uh, uh, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th on a, a Sunday from Thursday for that hui and then the hui uh, meeting in Auckland would be more or less on the 15th uh, and 16th, 15th being a Friday and Saturday the 16th of September 2017. Uh, the Friday will be more uh, to the afternoon, three o'clock, for, uh, for uh, visitors to come down to the court hearing and I'm expecting uh, the um, Ngāpuhi to come down because they're in charge of this hui uh, that I'm setting up for them and the Whakamininga uh, to conduct their commercial business affairs here with us in Auckland and I will put up the um, e-state <coughs> my crown government uh, the, the federal state commonwealth government in dual governor 
ship of Admiralty with Britain, UK, Westminster Parliament and we have set up that government here as a separate federal state government under this federal state 1834 declaration of war flag jurisdiction and constitution. Uh, so I uh, put uh, uh, documents together for the constitution, the original British constitution, that we have a legal right to force on anyone with this municipalities authority of King William III. He put that together, this St. Patrick's Eight Point Star in Belfast, um, where um, St. Patrick is buried as his crown there, his, his coronation crown. Queen Elizabeth, I must say this, Queen Elizabeth II has no coronation. She has no coronation. It was fake. The scone was fake. So that's writing her off and all her business off. Right here, I'm just saying that on this video as fact, citation, evidence in our court hearing in Auckland. I'm making this statement on this video today, uh, on Saturday, the 5th of September, uh, August 2017, that the Queen has no legitimacy for all the Crown Corporation's businesses because she's not a real crown on her head. It has been fashioned illegally and unconstitutionally through her parliaments, and that's fraud. It is deception, treason, fraud, and she will hang for that. She will hang under these laws, and the last queen that got hung, she's following the same path because she's got all the financial investment interests for her own self stolen from the financial investment interests of these native chiefs of New Zealand, and their partner, Ship of Admiralty, with King William the Third and Fourth, and King George the Fourth and Third. Okay, so that's where I'm at today. I shall save that, and uh, I'm just writing up a few things um, online. As you can see, I have the um, I have the um, site for here, my Crown King William the Fourth Federal State Court. This is the court we're setting up in Auckland. If your name is on our list in a box, this is how we started off with our court here. That's going back some time, 2009 or 12, uh, through um, Choi. You type Choi, sign the document, for John Key's arrest and seizing all his assets anywhere he hides. He won't be underneath the federal state government of Australia because they'll, they'll, he's libeled them. He's libeled them all and libeled the Queen and libeled the banks and libeled everything. The Rothschilds, he's libeled America, Australia, Canada and New Zealand and Britain. He's libeled the whole lot into this fraud banking cartel, mafia and <coughs> Cabelli, uh business uh, that's going on. I can say long strings on names but that's basically where we're at. So I've put her there. She's pretty good on explaining things. So on this site we have there we have the politics of Northern Ireland. So I'm, I'm putting the jurisdiction where it comes from in Northern Ireland and connected to the uh, Supreme Court of the United Kingdom was created by the Constitutional Reform Act 2005. The High Court is located in the Royal, Royal Courts of Justice, Belfast. There you go. There you go. There's King William III there. The Dutchman from Netherlands and Brussels. Why the Queen ran to Brussels. She's run right into us from Belfast and this eight-point star here in Belfast. That's where St. Patrick is buried in Downpatrick and the council there, the court, county, court, magistrate is where we're going with our authority in the DUP party, Northern Ireland and Arlene Foster, the first Prime Minister of Northern Ireland 
and she got a billion pounds from uh, Theresa May to smooth the waters, but that's landed up right with our flag and our jurisdiction over that lot. So uh, this to you uh, in Northern Ireland, um, um, Arlene Foster, I'm writing up the law as I see it from our point of view. Um, there I am in court, the police and the CIB of Auckland, the Criminal Investigation Bureau lost the case against me standing here telling them you have no Queen, you have no seal of Westminster, you have no seal of the Queen, you have no authority, legal authority, you had no authority to arrest me. I warned you that you're taking the shirt off the King off me and you have, you have committed treason against us, the commercial land owners of this country under this flag I just showed you. And they turned and ignored what I was saying. It's cost them a trillion pounds each. And there's 43 of them that got me arrested on Cook Street. They are not saying anything. They have removed all the photos and the videos that I put up. And they used my video, my YouTube video, against me and the other US Federal Marshals, Maori Marshals. There wasn't any use either because they were flying the flag in the wrong jurisdiction. The 1835 has no jurisdiction in this country because the government here got rid of it. But they cannot touch the 1834 flag jurisdiction direct to Britain. So <clears throat> their excuse, the police excuse, were, uh, the, uh, the judge excuse was the police had insufficient evidence. No, they had nothing right from the start. I tried to tell them that. It's going to cost them. It's cost each policeman one trillion pounds on 15,000 New Zealand police. Full stop. That's it. I'm going to wreck the bill up because I warned them. They're dicing with the King's laws that we are. Rolls building. Uh, so we're going into there and I'm working out the population of the world to get a figure on splitting up all 70% of people of the world will benefit from what we recover from 30% of the people of the world who are now well off, elite, and have the best out of the theft and the <coughs> defrauding uh, corrupted uh, Crown Corporation's businesses. So they're, they're, and their fiat money, the, the um, fiat uh, money, making money out of thin air. They're, all those fraudulent things, they gave them the right to do it. They, they, they took our pirate's flag and used it on people as pirates. So we've got this case going against Natalie Flower Dew Brown. You ran off to the Solomon Islands to hide. They, they spirited you away to hide away from me. You can't get away. Our court hearings never end. They are endless court hearings. Your name's up there. Your name's ready to... You'll lose everything. You'll lose everything. Your dignity. You only have your underpants left to wear. And your your ring will we'll take that as well. You, you're not worth what you did to me to come in my house here and arrest me. Here, right here where I'm filming now. <clears throat> There's your name there, Natalie Flower Dew Brown. Subpoena to court, Cook Street Fraud. That's coming up in our court hearing. Your name is up there. All the people's names that I've got there are one by one. We're going to pull you and strip you. Okay? We've got the authority of this flag to strip you. The most high flag of Admiralty, court martial law, financial martial law in the world. So these are all all the um, um, postings I have on this site. I have 106 sites on Facebook. That's quite a lot. There's the notary lawyer, Utah Czech lawyer, settled 61 Cooksey. He signed all the documents to put uh, John Key into the High Court of Admiralty in London. It's, I've got it on video over there, the office receiving the complaint and the case. We're going to use that as the case <coughs> on that video. The video is worth more in a court case than documents. What I say goes, if you cannot refute what I say on video, you're gone. You lose any case. That's what the judge said in Auckland District Court. 
when the barrister, he's he's got a trillion on his pound pound note on his head too. Um, um, <clears throat> my barrister, uh, Shannon Withers, he went on the side of the crown to bail the 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 judges and the court out from me. They didn't want me in the court. I didn't have my court hearing, Shannon Withers. You went ahead without me, and I went to the court and watched you do it. I'm, 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 I'm taking you in for that, for defying me my citations that you use to get those boys off. They don't know how they got off. It was through my citations that you turned it on yourself as being leaving me out from my justice. You have no justice in this country. That was a perfect example of injustice. Courts is so corrupt. Police are corrupt. The judges are corrupt. The government's corrupt. The whole lot of you are corrupt from that act you did there <coughs> to defy me, my court hearing by myself. I told you I want my own court hearing. So there you go. You're in there as being <coughs> <coughs> the instigator of that. See, these are publicly notified. Look, my Crown Sheriff and Paramount Chief's single sole office registered is in Auckland, New Zealand, with nine, nine <coughs> one of a trillion shares, parent company, and a single sole office registered in London. My Powerhouse Group Limited Limited state one billion shares in London and one billion shares in each of 250 countries at £25 per share one-off investment fee. So that's us set up to go and build the whole lot of you with 970 million trillion trillion pound note on your heads. <coughs> okay, so um, I think that's all we need to do for this video before it sh shuts off. Um, I'll just go along a little bit further here. Protectorate. Ulster. That's us, Ulster. You see? New Zealand, North Island, New Zealand, Ulster to Ulster and Northern Ireland. <coughs> <coughs> so all that business was set up here <coughs> to use us as a blueprint, native land court hearing for all the rest of the native countries in the world was taken from here through the Governor General to the Queen. The Queen handed it on to the Rothschilds and the Vatican City thugs. Our authority and our birth certificates, uh, 1831, <coughs> tiki tiki um, East Coast birth certificates in the St. Mary's Church uh, on my land block. Um, tiki tiki um, and Whakawhitira Native uh, Mag Magistrate Court. The other Magistrate Court is in Helensville, that's the Awaroa Magistrate Court in the Awaroa Bank, the first Native Bank in this country, and the other first Magistrate Court when the Navy got off the ship was in Okiato in Russell, Bay of Islands, Kurarika. <coughs> Those are the three magistrate courts that makes up who got here, how they took the land for the king through Navy. Okay, so the Navy at the end of the day is our legal partner, uh, Sir uh, Philip Jones, first, first Lord of the Sea in London, Britain. Don't ignore me. Don't ignore the Paramount Chiefs because we've got this all on record. It's all on YouTube and on Twitter and this Facebook site. There's 106 Facebook sites with everything on. There's 1130 or 1140 YouTube videos that I use as fact, uh, evidence, um, citations on our documents. Okay, so you. you the judge said, <clears throat> my barrister Shannon Withers says to the judge, John wants to say something. And the judge said this, there's no need for John to say anything, it's all on YouTube. There, that set a precedent case <clears throat> for our next case in Auckland is going to be video. Everything I put on video, and video there, is against John Key and all the thugs in New Zealand and Pacific Islands in the first instance, you build a trillion pounds each plus. <clears throat> your bill for New Zealand is one billion trillion pounds, one single pound note, one billion trillion pound note 
out of 970 million trillion trillion pound note in Britain, UK, to recover all that debt. And that figure is there from the World Bank and also from the fiat money spun over uh, at least 2,000, over 2,000 percent. They made all that money and from land sales, the king's land sales and the exploitation of resources, natural resources, right through the world, split up into that figure, 970 million trillion trillion pound notes, backdated to the 20th of March 1834, this flag here we are holding as proof <coughs> of contract, private contract. Admiralty is private contract, nobody's business. You cannot inquire into what I say and what the Paramount Chiefs say in New Zealand for all the rest of the Paramount Chiefs in the world. What they say goes. That's the law. And overrides the United States, America, Australia, Canada, New Zealand, Britain, UK. Overrides all of you because this is a land flag. It is a land flag and the ship of Admiralty is on dry land. The only ship on dry land with a flag flying of Britain, UK, and our 1834 King William IV Declaration of War flag. <coughs> okay, it's a bank trading flag. It's a protectorate military flag. The British are obligated to recover all the debts and get paid out of it. I will do all the figures here uh, for the British military to recover all that debt with the Magistrate Court and the Supreme Court. <clears throat> in Britain, the Admiralty Court flew to the Supreme Court, the highest courts in the world. Um, and ahead of the World Court, it's not as high as this court in Westminster. It's not as high because the UN, uh, UN has no origination of its Admiralty or its authority. It got it from the King in Westminster, not in Netherlands. King William III conducted his business in Westminster on English soil land, England's Welsh soil land. <coughs> Got that? And that land is in contract, private admiralty here in New Zealand and Pacific Islands, dry land, dry land to dry land. Okay, not trading other countries second hand and admiralty borrowed. There's no borrowing with this flag. There's no, from now on, there's no borrowing of any more admiralty from it. All the admiralty that's in the world now has been derived from someone's authority. We have the ruling authority of the king, not the queen. The queen is a prolific fraudster <clears throat> and she is to be hung for treason on our flag and our kings and our paramount chiefs. <clears throat> we haven't lost anything. We're just going to settle the accounts. We're settling the accounts in Auckland and we're settling the accounts in Westminster. Okay, so that's all. I'll see you later. Have a nice day. Bye for now. John Odoo, Auckland, New Zealand.